unit economics of a t-shirt and particularly with kids wear one of the things that i think people are not thinking about when they're costing out their garment is the yield and so when you're doing kids clothing let's say you're doing a shirt like this this is not going to take a full y uh, yard so what does that impact what that impacts is the actual fabric itself it impacts the print that we're doing as well and both of those are going to be adjusted Sorry, I'm too tall. Both of those are going to be adjusted based off of the yield of the fabric. So if this is half a yard, and you guys, you know, I get a lot of requests about organic fabric right now, and organic fabric is going down. The price is going down because it's more readily available, which is really cool. And so I'm seeing organic fabric in that two, three dollar range. Organic French terries and fleece in the four dollar range, sometimes five dollar range. Now it's white. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna print on it. In this scenario, let's say you're printing on it and we're doing a custom print. <clears throat> when, you're, when you're figuring out what the cost is gonna be, you would take this, let's say this is a four, uh, uh, $3 cost. So this would be $1.50 for your fabric cost. Check that box off. Next, you're printing. This is actually sublimation, so it only works for poly. But let's say you're doing a digital directive fabric print. Same type of deal. If the print cost $5 per garment, this is only gonna be 250, okay? So when you're doing unit economics of your garment, you have to multiply it by how much fabric you're using in the garment.